you can see into the future and I have the peer-reviewed published science that proves it. If you like this stuff, do all the button things. Okay, so we'll discuss how you can literally see into the future after we discuss the science, but let's first review that science and discuss just how conclusive it is. Because the best trained scientific skeptics in the world fail to find any flaws with any of this science. And to my science-minded skeptical friends, I'll say this, it is awesome to be a skeptic and that's part of the process, but follow where the evidence leads on this one because this one's pretty goddamn compelling. Do not reject this out of hand. Okay, so the scientific proof of human precognition, i.e. the ability to see into the future, comes from some established science that's so rock solid, stable, and predictable, it's almost boring. And it's connected with something they call priming. Now priming is a totally unexciting and totally predictable experiment set, where a group of study subjects is measurably affected by flashing an idea in front of them before asking them to do a very specific task. For instance, if you measure how fast someone clicks on a button to confirm a kitten is cute, you can affect how fast that person makes their decision by flashing the word ugly in front of them right before they make the decision. No duh, right? But here's the thing, researchers and auditors love this type of experiment because it's one of the types of experiment that ensures that researchers don't interact with the subject which could accidentally give them information or influence them in some way that could affect the study. There's just the study participant, two pieces of information from an improved database, and a bunch of measurement sensors being run by a computer that's randomizing the whole experiment and not giving clues up about anything. So this is the perfect type of experiment to run on a human being. So regarding the science of looking into the future, here's what scientists did that's awesome for science and completely destroyed the skeptics who hate admitting that any type of extrasensory perception exists. The researchers looking for precognition used the same exact experiment. Except that they took the influencing primer that's supposed to flash before your task to influence what you're about to do, and they let you do what you were supposed to do, and then they flash the primer afterward, after you were done with the task. So from a skeptic's perspective, there should be absolutely no way that that primer influences the action of the study subject performing the task, because the influencing agent was applied after they did it. Except the later in time priming agent did affect their task exactly in the way it was supposed to if it was dropped before they did the task. Then the study was replicated dozens of times and analyzed in a meta-study, which is basically a study that looks at the results of a ton of other studies, and that meta-study of 90 other studies done by 33 other labs in 14 different countries showed the same results. People could look into the future, see their priming trigger, and have it affect an action that they're taking on a task that they're doing before they can see the priming trigger. And for you science-minded folks out there, the results were beyond Six Sigma, which if you don't know is the gold standard for science. The p-value was 1.2 times 10 to the negative 10, and a Bayesian analysis yielded a base factor of 5.1 billion, which absolutely crushes the minimum standard for science to declare something decisive evidence. The really amazing part of this is that the professional skeptics at Brown and Cornell and the folks who are pulled upon to debunk all of this stuff, their official reaction was, we can find no flaws. Everything seems to be in good order here. Humans, even when they're not even trying to, can look into the future and see something that happens down the timeline and use it right now to affect their actions. So how? How can we look into the future? How does this happen? Well, that answer is presented in the last video talking about your consciousness and it being tied into a non-local field that is beyond space and time. You can see into the future and if you develop that intentionally, you can see into the future better. You might want to hit the plus sign.